Today I was reading the story of Joseph in the Bible, and it was around Genesis 40 that Joseph's story was unfolding in a moment of desperation. He was unjustly put in prison. He had so many unjust things done in his life. And this one, being left in prison, made him feel very much forgotten. He just felt like, how am I ever going to get out? And so it came about two of Pharaoh's servants that happened to end up in prison while he was there. And after accurately predicting their fates, he pleaded with the cupbearer and said, please remember me. I love that line. Remember me when it's well with you. Please do me the kindness to mention me to Pharaoh to get me out of this house, this prison. Well, the passage resonates with me and it probably resonates with you because we're all human. We can be forgotten by people. We can have people promise us things and their promises are empty. We could also have missed opportunities. And this can just happen also common that it leaves us just down and depressed. But we could find solace and the unwavering faithfulness of God because he never forgets us. And in times of discouragement, it's vital to remember that God never overlooks his children, even when prayers seem unanswered and circumstances seem like they're stagnant. His plan is still unfolding. Joseph's story serves as a testament to unwavering trust because it was years that he faced uncertainty in times that he was treated unjustly. But like him who held fast to God, we can hold to the belief that God's marvelous plan is at work in our lives. You know, I've mentioned this before, but I'm going in for surgery and I would have rather God healed my body so I didn't have to go in for this surgery. But I am trusting that God has a plan for all of this. And I can thank him for every single day that I'm walking towards having this surgery. And if he wants to heal me on the table before I even have the surgery, I'm fine with that too, by the way. But until then, I am going to thank him because I can get my confidence from him, my hope, my joy, even in discouragement when wondering, Will my prayers be answered when it might seem like years for other circumstances that I'm dealing with or you're dealing with and you haven't seen someone or some circumstance change at all? We can trust in God like Joseph did, not understanding, but still being faithful to the end. For God had a marvelous plan for Joseph's life. It's an amazing story. And he also has a marvelous plan for each of ours. Remember, because he lives, it does change everything.